For this video, what I want to do is show you how to do long division of a polynomial um, when the divisor is a quadratic um, function. So what you want to do first is you want to make sure that both the dividend and the divisor go in order of descending exponents. And if there are any exponent terms missing, then you have to make sure that you add a zero for that part. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up with my long division symbol. The x squared minus 2x plus 3, we can see that it goes down to 1 and then 0 x's, so I can just set it up as is, x squared minus 2x plus 3. But my dividend that I'm dividing into, it goes 4, 2, and then 0. So when we put this in here, we would have x to the 4th plus 0x to the 3rd plus 3x squared plus 0x and plus 1. So it's really important that you add the zeros as placeholders because otherwise you wouldn't have like terms and so you wouldn't be able to subtract. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this first term, we always look at this first value, and figure out what would we need to multiply it by to get the first term here. So x squared, I would have to multiply it by x squared to get x to the fourth power. So I'm going to go ahead and write the x squared over the x squared term. And then we're going to take and we're going to distribute this value into each of these. So I'm going to do x squared times x squared, which gives me x to the fourth. I'm going to do x squared times negative 2x, which would give me negative 2x to the third power. And then I'm going to multiply the x squared by the 3. So I have to multiply it to everything. So I would get plus 3x squared. And then, just like we did in elementary school with division, after we multiply, then we always subtract. So when we subtract, that means that we just change the signs of all of these. Okay, so I would really have 0x cubed plus 2 x cubed, which would give me 2x cubed. 3 minus 3 would give me 0x squared. And then we're going to bring down our next term. So our next term would be the plus 0x. And now we're going to repeat the process. So we're going to start with this first value here, the x squared. And we're going to figure out what would we have to multiply it by to get 2x cubed. So we would have to multiply this by 2x because 2 times 1 on the outside gives me the 2, and then x times x squared gives me x cubed. So I would have 2x cubed as my first value. 2x times negative 2x gives me negative 4x squared. And then 2x times the positive 3 would give me 6x. And then we're going to repeat the process. So because of the fact that we multiplied, our next step is always subtracting, so we're changing the sign of all of them, we're basically distributing it into everything. So the first term would give us 4x squared, the next one would give us negative 6x, and then we would bring down our constant term plus 1. Okay, And so then our next step is to figure out what would we multiply our x squared by to get 4x squared. So we would multiply this by 4, it's just going to be a constant term. So 4 times x squared would give me 4x squared. 4 times negative 2 would give me negative 8x. And 4 times 3 would give me plus 12. And then we would change it to subtraction, so or change the signs because we're subtracting all of these. So this would cancel out. Negative 6 plus 8 would give me positive 2x minus 11, and this right here would be your remainder. So depending upon how you are required to answer it, in some texts they will have you do this, and then they will just say remainder 2x minus 11. Okay, um, but in a lot of other ones what you would do is you would write the quotient as x squared plus 2x plus 4, and then we would take the remainder, the 2x minus 11, and write it as a fraction over the divisor. So we would just do over x squared uh, minus 2x plus 3, and this would be your final answer. So if I took this right here and multiplied it by the denominator, then it would give us the numerator. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.